Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang and this is my international skincare routine. Now this varies slightly from just my regular in-flight skincare routine and you can check that video out in the card above. Today I'm headed to Shanghai, so it's about a 13-ish hour flight, so we have a very long road ahead of us. Let's get started. So first off, I always have my hair in braids on flights, but especially on international flights because it's easy to maintain, it stays out of my face. Prior to the plane, I do my regular morning skincare routine and I don't put anything else on my face besides sunscreen. For me, I would prefer to not clog my skin up with makeup before jumping on a plane. Okay, so what I do immediately is I put on my cozy socks. My feet are always, always cold on airplanes and these are really comfortable. My mom always gets me these cozy socks for Christmas. I also like to put this Burt's Bees hand salve on my feet. Even though it's for your hands, I basically just put it everywhere, really. It's really moisturizing and if there is ever a time to moisturize your feet, it's on a long haul flight because you ain't doing nothing. Now, I don't like to do anything to my face before meal service, so since my skin is already hydrated from my morning routine, I just like to use a face mist to refresh and rehydrate. Then I follow up with this OG lip oil. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it just melts into your lips. It's amazing. Now, these little contraptions are my new favorite things. My blogger friend Joe from GoFitJo introduced me to Sage and this is their Peppermint Halo Headache Remedy which soothes headaches and relieves neck muscles. If you guys know I have a really tight neck so uh, long haul flights tend to be pretty uncomfortable because it's made out of peppermint and lavender oil. It's really soothing too so perfect for a flight. Okay, so after I settle in and eat, watch some movies, yada yada, and I start feeling tired, that's the point at which I start my skincare routine. Um, after I eat, what I like to do is rinse out my mouth with mouthwash. Also, got my TMJ mouth orthotic on because I'm cool. Can't leave home without it, unfortunately. But in terms of skincare, first thing is first, you need to sanitize your hands before you touch your face, people. I don't even want to know what type of germs are on the airplane, so definitely take care of that. In this reusable bottle, I have the Palladium Vitalizing Toner. This toner was actually in an Instagram giveaway that I did with I Am Beauty earlier this year, so if you are the winner, I hope you are loving it as much as I do. This toner cleanses my skin without drying it out and it absorbs into the skin really well. And then after my skin is cleaned, I go into the mask portion of my routine. Today I am double masking, um, starting off with the Burt's Bees Eye Mask. And then on top of that goes my all-time favorite sheet mask from Peach and Lily. I just love the sheet mask itself. It's really soft and it is so hydrating. Now you're supposed to leave it on for 20 minutes, but if you feel like your skin needs more love, leave it on longer. I ended up leaving it on for about 30 minutes. Just don't fall asleep with the sheet mask on or else what will end up happening is your sheet mask will dry up and actually suck out the moisture from your skin making your skin worse and you definitely don't want that. I know some of you may be a little shy about sheet masking, I get it. When I was shooting this video I was actually laughed at by two guys next to me and honestly, fuck them. I know that in 13 hours I'm gonna be looking fabulous and they are gonna be looking tired and dry so boy, bye. I saw on this plane at least two other women sheet masking so it's becoming a more normal thing. No shame in your game, okay? Now once your sheet masking is done, remember to tap in that essence because that is the good stuff. Next I follow it up with Peach Slice's Aqua Glow. It's like a serum and a moisturizer in one. It's really light but super hydrating. And then finally the last step is to follow it up with Cora's Eye Oil. It has a rose quartz rollerball applicator if you're into that kind of stuff but it will seriously look like you've had a full eight hours of rest. And that's it for my skincare routine. Now throughout the flight, if I'm feeling dry, I'll either reapply the aqua glow or do a facial mist to rehydrate. I never apply makeup before I land, but if you have to, 
Uh, feel free to just don't go too intense, maybe a BB cream and some blush, but that should really be it. Uh, but either way, you're going to walk off the plane looking fabulously hydrated and youthful. Thanks for watching my international in-flight skincare routine, everyone. I know y'all have been waiting for this video, so I hope it didn't disappoint. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. I've kind of streamlined my in-flight beauty routine from my last in-flight video. Again, check the cards in the top right of this video for some other videos you might be interested in. I'm Asia Dang. Thank you so much for watching.